Hello and welcome. I'm Nicole Ryan, the host of the Morning Mashup on Sirius XM Hits 1's Sirius XM Radio. I am honored to be here to co-host this hour of peace with Destination Peace International and the Foundation for the Support of the United Nations. In 2015, the United Nations adopted the Sustainable Development Goals as a blueprint for a more sustainable future. We have come together to work toward the 16th SDG goal, which seeks to promote the just, peaceful, and inclusive societies needed to sustain global peace by the year 2030. For this hour of peace, we've invited world leaders, activists, musicians, and more as they share their gifts of song, inspiration, and prayers for peace with all of us tonight. We begin with a message from Janet Salazar, the President and Executive Chairman of the Foundation for the Support of the United Nations. FSUN works with the United Nations Secretariat and other programs, funds, and agencies to help achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals. FSUN collaborates and consults with 193 member countries at the United Nations on SDG campaigns, joint operational projects, and participates in intergovernmental processes on shared goals and campaigns. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the Foundation for the Support of the United Nations, I welcome you to an hour of peace hosted by our partner, Destination Peace International. I'm especially thrilled that you're all joining us because today's hour of peace celebration is also being held to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. The United Nations was founded in 1945 to support collective action to realize peace, development, and human rights for all. Through the years, much has been accomplished towards these three ideals for collective action. And most recently, the adoption of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals or the SDGs, otherwise known as the Global Goals. One of them, SDG number 16, Peace, Justice, and Strong Institutions, is also the focus of today's Hour of Peace celebration. We acknowledge and celebrate these milestones, but as we all know, there's still so much work to do together, especially at this present environment of overlapping global multiple crisis threatening humanity's existence. The pandemic, the worst economic crisis since World War II, threats of war between nations, the environmental and climate crisis, and the alarming top leadership crisis driven by politics and self-interest. These have all negatively affected the lives of hundreds of millions of people and wars driving the social and and economic inequality gap wider each day. As we celebrate today's United Nations 75th anniversary with an hour of peace, I ask each of you who are listening right now to make that renewed decision to uphold and support our collective action to realize peace, development, and human rights for all. No matter who you are, where you are, what your circumstances are, or what your creed of fate is. After all, we're all in this together, breathing the same air, living under the same sun, wanting and striving for the same ideals that make life worth fighting for, worth living. Thank you and enjoy what we have put together with Destination Peace International, an hour of peace. Take care. Thank you again for being with us for our Hour of Peace. I'm Manny Perlman. I'm the CEO and founder of Destination Peace International. Our mission is to use music as a universal song to end violence and bring peace. Destination Peace is represented by World Peace Ambassadors and followers. Our ambassadors include United Nations emissaries, global change makers, leading thinkers and innovators, an ecumenical clergy team, cutting edge medical and evolutionary psychology experts, peace activists, world recognized religious leaders, compassionate celebrated and unsung philanthropists. 
In partnership with our esteemed World Peace Ambassadors, Destination Peace travels the globe meeting face-to-face -face with international leaders. While we've enjoyed traveling and meeting in person, we're grateful to be able to come together virtually in recent months. Destination Peace's global approach is to clarify and modify the belief system that predisposes groups to panic to supposed threats. We develop strategies to hinder the hostile sequence in its earliest stage and work toward the abandonment of violence as an acceptable weapon. By researching sounds in hundreds of languages worldwide, we created an eight syllable phrase. Sasha e hatozi ho'u are the sounds that will help us vocalize peace. In these efforts, we believe that no society should consider their citizens as anything less than human beings. That's what destination peace is about. We use peaceful means. We use music. We bring harmony through harmony. And it's real. I'm honored and happy to introduce my dear friend, Professor William Riley, a prominent vocal coach, stage director, conductor, and writer. He teaches a unique vocal technique to hundreds of elite performers. Bill has devoted his career to caring for the voices of legendary singers, presidents and heads of state, and award-winning actors. He has devoted his entire life to being a voice for the voiceless, the underprivileged, and the oppressed. Anyone who recognizes the songs of Peter, Paul, and Mary has been a part of the very vibrant musical scene of the 1960s and beyond. Back then, we learned of the power of ideas, and we enhanced them with the power of music to bring awareness of anti-war consciousness, anti-apartheid values, a long overdue realization of women's rights, and a new view on climate awareness. On the shoulders of Pete Seeger, the Weavers, and Woody Guthrie, we have Peter Yarrow to remind us of what is most important, to gather hearts together and build a community committed to all people in this world. This is the work of peace. This is my dear friend, Peter Yarrow. Mm -hmm. How many roads must a man walk down Before they call him a man How many seas must a white dove sail Before she sleeps in the sand How many times must the cannonballs fly Before they're forever banned The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing many years can a mountain exist before it is washed to the sea a mountain of ignorance and hatred how many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free How many times can a man turn his head And pretend that he just doesn't see The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing in the wind How many 
times can a man look up before he can see the sky? How many ears must one man have before he can hear people cry? How many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing. Some of you know this song, and I invite you to sing the chorus with me. And you think I can't see you, but I can sense you. Sing the answer, my friend. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer. Sing that. I have a sense of what that, to me, means. The answer is blowing in the wind. After all these years, the answer is compassion, empathy. If we have compassion for others. Not to mention love and respect. Then we know the answer. How many years can some people exist before they are allowed to be free? It is within our hearts if we have the compassion. And music tells that story. So try it with me. The answer, my friend, and think compassion. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Compassion. The answer, my friend, is blowing in. The answer is blowing in the wind. The answer, it's in our hearts. It's in our love. to take this moment to honor two great peacemaking friends. One of them is Bill Riley, who has been a mentor, a guide, a dear friend, and a healer for Peter, Paul, and Mary, who uses his music and his capacity to help singers like myself not only resonate with our voices, but with our souls. And the other one is my friend, Rabbi Manny Perlman, who has also led a dedicated life to creating peace. May we celebrate each other, remember where we came from, and tonight honor these two wonderful people, my friend Bill Riley and my friend Rabbi Manny Perlman. We can change laws or change policies, but without building respect and love in our hearts, laws will not hold. This is the work of Manny Perlman, Bill Riley, and Destination Peace. This is why we celebrate our lives with the intention to bring about unanimity of spirit, compassion, and change. In 1963, there was a remarkable march on Washington, D.C. with singers like Bob Dylan, Peter, Paul, and Mary, 
Joan Baez, Mahalia Jackson, and speakers Martin Luther King Jr., John Lewis, and others. Now our concerns are not candidate versus candidate, but the fates of children around the world, a relief from injustice, and safety for refugees. We seek to bring about a vision of how we will evolve in the coming years and decades. In Professor Riley's own words, peace is a different thing for each human life. Still, if the world does not actively pursue a more peaceful existence for all, not just the few, the world's pursuits are not truly peaceful. The absence of war is not enough to really define peace. It is my hope that the work of my life can bring a bit of joy, a glimpse of humor, an understanding of a better universe for those who face hardship, despair, and pain. Music is my constant partner in this pursuit. I seek not to entertain the world, but to inspire us all to participate in a more artful, generous, and kind existence. It is my distinct honor to announce our 2021 live stream for peace program and the presentation of the first annual William Riley Voice for Peace Prize. This prize recognizes an individual whose selfless acts embody the ideals of destination peace and of Bill Riley, one of my closest friends, revered teachers, and wisest mentors. It celebrates those who have reached beyond themselves and sought deeper purpose. In the spirit of Peter, Bill, and Manny, we call upon you to be the advocates for the voiceless, to join in our universal chorus, singing a language of peace. Together we can replace warfare with song, substitute bombs with laughter, and replace the jarring rhythms of gunfire with percussive musical blasts. Greetings to all of you. My life's experience has taught me to value peace and nonviolence as the essential components of our existence. Those unleash the positive forces of good that are so needed for human progress. The focus of my work and advocacy has been on advancing the culture of peace, which aims at making peace and nonviolence a part of our own self, our own personality, a part of our own existence as human beings. I believe this will empower ourselves to contribute more effectively to bring inner as well as outer peace. We should not isolate peace as something distant or separate. We should know how to relate to one another without being aggressive, without being violent, without being disrespectful, and without prejudice. More so in today's world, so full of negativity, tension, poverty, and suffering, the culture of peace should be seen as the essence of a new humanity, a new global civilization based on inner oneness and outer diversity. Peace does not mean just to stop wars, but also to stop oppression, injustice, and neglect. As we came out of the long-drawn, bitter rivalry of the Cold War, the United Nations adopted the Declaration and Program of Action on the Culture of Peace in 1999. I had the honor of presenting that resolution to the UN General Assembly. 
the landmark agreement among all nations is a powerful tool in promoting a global consciousness for a just and sustainable peace. This realization has now become more pertinent in the midst of the ever-increasing militarism and militarization that is destroying both our planet and our people. The last decades of violence and human insecurity should make us realize that today's children should be educated in the art of peaceful, non-violent, non-aggressive living. This should more appropriately be called the education for global citizenship. We need also to understand very well that without peace, development cannot be realized. Without development, peace is not achievable. But without women, neither peace nor development is possible. The culture of peace is not a quick fix. It is a movement, not a revolution. The culture of peace cannot be imposed from outside. It must be realized from within. Thank you. Today's world, uh, comparatively, I think everywhere uh, people now feel peace very important. Uh, in previous century, you see, we spent a lot of money and also, you see, our scientific knowledge, you see, used for uh, construct a uh, weapon, including nuclear weapon. Now, I think that kind of mental attitude now much change. Now people are really now showing serious sort of concern about peace. That's very important. Now today, the economy, uh, and now including this illness, also you see, now economy situation also you see, facing some difficulties. So in such sort of uh, period, now thinking weapon is uh, impractical, out of date. Now we must think a uh, peaceful world. Peace, not come from sky. Uh, the opposite of peace is violence. Who creates violence? We human being. So, therefore, automatically, the peace also the uh, our responsibility. We human being, who creates a lot of problem, who creates violence. Now we have the responsibility to bring peace. So now peace, uh, ultimately related with inner peace, a more sort of sense of concern of others' well-being, more sense of concern, seven billion human beings. Now that is the ultimate source of peace. Uh, just the word peace, peace, uh, not bring peace. Ultimately, we, sh we have to develop inner peace. Now the destroyer of inner peace is anger. Uh, and fear. So nowadays, uh, anger, uh, you see, in our mind, there are variety of emotion. Uh, compassion, uh, forgiveness, tolerance, you see, these are the source or foundation of peace, inner peace. Anger, jealousy, uh, these fear, you see, 
Fear also is related with too much self-centered attitude, then fear come. More altruistic attitude, hmm? look, entire seven billion human beings are our brothers, sisters. Uh, uh, I want peace, they also want peace. I very much sort of res uh, appreciate other people's smile, other people's sort of loving kindness. So we also, you see, show them loving kindness and, and smile. Through that way, you see, we can develop peaceful, compassionate family, compassionate community. And then through that way, the whole world, through education, not talking about a next life or heaven or these things, but automatically, you see, we remain more compassionate person. That's the best way to offer to God, according to his religion. God himself, infinite love. Uh, then all religion talking about loving kindness. So therefore, the, uh, whether we uh, accept religion or not, that practice is the best way of practice of religion. So, the old major religious tradition, in spite of different concept, uh, different cultural aspect, but all carry main message is love, loving kindness. So therefore, uh, now we uh, should sort of, I said, make effort to bring inner peace. Through that way, the real peace come. Gordon Bahari is a veteran producer, engineer, and singer-songwriter. His credits include such albums as Stevie Wonder's Songs in the Key of Life and The Secret Life of Plants, as well as Herbie Hancock's Feet Don't Fail Me Now. He began writing and performing music at the age of 10 and quickly excelled at creating cutting-edge synthesizer sequences and sounds. His self-titled album and hit single Electric Kingdom was created in collaboration with singer-songwriter Joseph Salter, also known as Twilight 22. Other recordings, including Genesis, Creation, Earth, and most recently, Unbreakable, explore new age and faith-based pop with the core of 70s and 80s contemporary pop. Please help me welcome Gordon Bahari. He sings songs of pure love, heart-trending loss, selfless devotion, and the importance of respect. on display because after all is said and done we're all one face and only love remains forever and a day from a distance love is calling you Sound of wisdom and compassion. Let's get this healing into motion.
Let's open up our hearts and free ourselves from wandering in this ocean. So come on, let's get this healing into motion. Say I'm gonna love you for eternity. It's time to open up our hearts and free ourselves from wandering in this ocean. Thank you, Gordon. I'm now excited to introduce Roma Downey. Roma and her husband, Mark Burnett, co-produced the three-time Emmy-nominated miniseries, The Bible, and she transcended the screen to portray Mary. Her latest book, Box of Butterflies, Discovering the Blessings All Around Us, is a joy to read. For nine seasons, Roma played the titular character on Touched by an Angel, where each week she would step into a new character's life to deliver a helping hand. Roma has deftly depicted icons such as Jackie Kennedy Onassis and earned her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. To have Roma as part of your life is to be truly touched by an angel. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. I grew up with that prayer. It's the prayer for peace from St. Francis of Assisi. And the themes of that prayer still resonate in my heart. I pray that we all can be channels of peace that we remember that we're all the beloved children of God, that we belong to him and that we belong to each other. 
that one day we may live in peace, that we can treat each other with love and respect. And I pray for that. I pray for that in my life and in your life, that we all, members of the human family, children of God, will one day live in peace. Peace be with you. Next up, we welcome Argentinian recording artist, Coral Campopiano. Just two months ago, she publicly took the lead in promoting The Signal for Help, a campaign to end domestic violence in her home country. Coral mobilized the support of well-known artists, journalists, and influencers to enact legislation in Argentina's Senate that was passed into a law that will save women's lives for years to come. Coral is also a lawyer, news anchor, actress, record producer, and owner of music label Coral Music Records. She has performed alongside legendary artists and actors, including John Legend, Iggy Pop, Lou Reed, Quincy Jones, John Coltrane, and many others. Please welcome Coral Campo Piano performing Fosforicente, Ghost. ¿Dónde estás que no te veo? No te veo desde el día en que me fui Y aunque a nada yo le temo, te confieso Tengo miedo que ya no pienses en mí Sé que fuiste un embustero Impoluto como Dios por la ciudad Un perdedor fosforescente entre la gente y yo serpiente encantada hipnotizada me dormí entregué mi alma al diablo y no lo vi yo Hoy sale el sol, vas a escuchar mi voz Hoy sale el sol, vas a saber quién soy Qué locura hay en mi mente Que te sueño y me despierto así, feliz Me sacude, me sorprende Caigo en el lugar de siempre No quererte y no poder dejarte ir Ay, 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 puede a brillar el sol Quemando el cielo, subiendo el calor Hoy sale el sol, te puedo ver mejor Hoy sale el sol, vas a escuchar mi voz Hoy sale el sol, vas a saber quién soy Stop me now, no, no, I'm almost there, I'm dancing with the ghost. Don't stop me now, wait till I come and die. Don't stop me now, wait till I come and die. Don't stop me now, wait till I come and die. And now we present to you one of our World Peace Ambassadors, Evie Evangelou, President and Founder of Fashion for Development. Thank you, Manny and Nyla, for inviting me to be part of this amazing program today. For all of you that are out there listening, I just want to give you one message. Please take a moment and look within yourself to find the love and compassion that I know that exists in each and every one of you and bring it forth to your family, to your friends, to your co-workers, and to every human being that you come across each day. With this, I believe it's a huge tool in a way where we can all come through this tunnel and into the light. 
May 2021 be an amazing year full of happiness, health, compassion, love, and all that's needed for all human beings and all families. Thank you. Take care. All the best. Dr. Martin Luther King said our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. The population of the world may be quarantined, but our desires for peaceful coexistence will always remain unmasked. So many all over the world are struggling with grief, anger, and fear. Destination Peace will replace the isolation and silence of the world with voices raised in solidarity and song. This moment is a turning point in history. Please join Destination Peace next year as we broadcast 24 hours of peace live around the world and as we present the first annual William Riley Voice for Peace Prize. Learn more at Destination Peace dot org. If the world was headed in the direction of peace, we could all be a part of that destination. I'm Naila Chaudhry. Director, Global Partnership and Resource Management for FSUN Foundation for the Support of the United Nations and Board Director, Destination Peace. I'm humbled and honored to introduce Mata Amrita Nandamai for her peace message for Destination Peace for UN International Day. Mata Amrita Nandamai is known throughout the world as Amma, meaning mother, for her selfless love and compassion toward all beings. Her entire life has been dedicated to elevating the pain of the poor for those suffering physically and emotionally. Mata Amrita Nandamai has embraced and comforted more than 34 million people globally. Amma inspires, uplifts, and transforms through her embrace, her spiritual wisdom, and through her global charities known as Embracing the World. When asked where she gets the energy to help so many people, she answers, where there is true love, anything is effortless. While Amma is widely regarded as one of India's foremost spiritual leaders, Amma says that her religion is love. In her own words, love when defined is compassion. Compassion is accepting others' needs and sorrow as your own. I present Mata Amrita Nandamai. Ipa manusia ni semua perlu diingat kalau semua ikut dia ni, maka logis sangat ikut ni, percaya ni hanya kita. Alpa orang le mati orang nak ni orang nak. Yang mana dia ni orang cari, logam murid kau lagas ni, logam murid kau la fumi lekik. Shandhi da vella pham, Manju dulli agasthu bhumi leki virinna vole, Marat dulli agasthu bhumi leki virinna vole, Virchitna pushpangal kaattat adagada vella bhumi leki virinna vole, Loga murukkya ulla agasthu, Shandhi da vella pham, Loga murukkya ulla bhumi leki, Edadada vella adha virinna ito pahamani. Angan edadada vella adha virinna ito pahamani ito ondu kurei neram, Kandadachi pahamani ito ondu rikina. Adhani shishna pushpam, Samadharti virinna item, Nadi virinna item, Malay virinna item, Kadal virinna item, Pachimuradhi virinna item, Adodapan namada sirasi virinna item sangal pichi, Korchiheram, Alangalikya. Irutthi ni sekkendo, Alangalikya, Uri minute to Alangal Alangalikya. Nana pahavane idu ondo. Adhani sheesham, Nampak orang manusia ni, perumahan ini selalu kunci ni deh, awal teri kundu bana. Anuskan orang nampak orang nanti edukan. Nampak orang cerita mana otom mana otom mana otom pon, manusia berada ni. Manusia berada ni istilah orang dah ada yang kunci ni, 
കുഞ്ഞിനെ വളരാൻ പറ്റും ആ നിഷ്കളങ്കത ഉണർത്തിയിട്ടിട്ട് ഹൃദയത്തിൽ പ്രേമം നിറയുന്നതായിട്ടും ശാന്തി അനുഭവിക്കുന്നതായിട്ടും മനസ്സുകൊണ്ട് ഭാവനയാണ് ആകാശത്തിലെ വെള്ളമേങ്ങൾ കാറ്റത്ത് മൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്ന പോലെ ഹൃദയത്തിന് ശാന്തി തരംഗ രൂപത്തിൽ അന്തരീക്ഷത്തിൽ വ്യാപിക്കുന്നതായിട്ട് മനസ്സുകൊണ്ട് ഭാവനയാണ് ആ സമയത്തിൽ ശാന്തി മന്ത്രം അറിയുന്നവർ ശാന്തി മന്ത്രം ചെല്ലും ശാന്തി മന്ത്രം വേണമെങ്കിൽ ഉള്ളിൽ ചെല്ലിക്കൊണ്ടും ഭാവന ചെയ്യാം നമ്മുടെ ശരീരം അനേക ചെല്ലുകൾ കൂടിയതാണ് ഉദാഹരണം കാതിലെ സെല്ലിൽ നിന്ന് കഷ്ടം വന്നാൽ നമുക്ക് നമുക്ക് ബാലൻസ് പോകും മസിലെ സെല്ലിന് കഷ്ടം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അവശം കടന്നു പോകും അപ്പോൾ ഓരോ സെല്ലിനും അതിൻ്റെതായ സ്ഥാനമുണ്ട് ഉള്ള പാവം തൊട്ട് ശരിസ് ഓരോ സെല്ലുകൾ ഉണർന്ന് ഒരു ഫേ ചെയ്ത് ആനന്ദ നൃത്തം ചെയ്യുന്നതായിട്ട് മനസ്സുണ്ട് ഭാവനയാണ് ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് സെക്കൻഡോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു മിനിറ്റോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതങ്ങനെ ഇരിക്കണം ഈ സെല്ലുകളിൽ ഏത് രൂപത്തിലും ഭാവത്തിലാണ് മനസ്സുകൊണ്ട് ഭാവനയാണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ നമ്മൾ പൂത്തിരി കത്തിക്കുമ്പോഴോ കമ്പിത്തിരി കത്തിക്കുമ്പോഴോ അഗ്നി എങ്ങനെ പ്രകാശിച്ച് അത് ഏതൊക്കെ രീതി നൃത്തം ചെയ്യും അതുപോലെ പാവനോട്ട് ശിരസ് വരെ ലക്ഷ ഉള്ള ലക്ഷ രക്ഷകണ്ട സെല്ലുകൾ അതേ രൂപത്തിൽ അതേ ഭാവത്തിൽ അതേ കള്ളറിൽ മിന്നി തിളങ്ങി ഇങ്ങനെ നൃത്തം ചെയ്യുന്നതായിട്ട് മനസ്സുകൊണ്ട് ഭാവനയാണ് അതും ഒരു മിനിറ്റോ രണ്ട് മിനിറ്റോ അങ്ങനെ ഭാവിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ആ രീതിയിൽ അത് ശരീരത്തിനും മനസ്സിനും ബുദ്ധിക്കും ആയുസിനും ആരോഗ്യത്തിനും ഒക്കെ നല്ലതാണ് നമ്മുടെ നെറ്റിയിൽ രണ്ട് പുരം നടുക്കുന്നതായിട്ട് നെറ്റിയുടെ മധ്യ ഭാഗത്തിലേക്ക് ഒരു ത്രികോണം പിന്നെ ത്രികോണം മനസ്സുകൊണ്ട് വരയ്ക്കുന്നതായിട്ട് ഭാവനയാണ് അതിന് നടുക്കൊരു വെള്ളപ്പേളിരിക്കുന്നതായിട്ട് സങ്കല്പിക്കും ആ വെള്ളപ്പേള് മിന്നി മിന്നി പ്രകാശിക്കും മിന്നാ മിന്നി 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 പ്രകാശിക്കുന്ന പോലെ ആ വെള്ളപ്പേട് മിന്നി മിന്നി പ്രകാശിക്കും എട്ട് കണ്ണടച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ മിന്നുള്ളി നോക്കി കുറച്ച് ഏഴ് കണ്ണടച്ച് ധ്യാനിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കും ചിലപ്പോൾ അഞ്ച് മിനിറ്റ് കൊണ്ട് ചെയ്യാം പത്ത് മിനിറ്റ് കൊണ്ടും ചെയ്യാം ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുന്നത് താല്പര്യമുള്ളവർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് നല്ലതായിരിക്കും നമ്മൾ ധ്യാനിച്ചാൽ പോരെ ഇങ്ങനെ കൂടി ചെയ്യേണ്ട ആവശ്യമുണ്ടോ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് ഗുണം ഉണ്ടാകത്തില്ല നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന നമ്മുടെ മോക്ഷത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയാണ് അതിൻ്റെ കുറച്ച് അന്തരീക്ഷത്തിൽ ഗുണം ഉണ്ടാകും പക്ഷേ ഇതിലൂടെ ഒന്നുകൂടെ നമുക്ക് ഗുണമുണ്ടാകും ആ കാരണം രണ്ട് രീതിയിലുള്ള ഫലം നമുക്ക് ഉണ്ടാകുമെന്ന് പറയും ആ ഭക്ഷണം കിട്ടാതെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നടക്കുന്ന ഒരു അനാഥ കുട്ടിക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ഭക്ഷണം കൊടുക്കുമ്പോൾ അത് വിശന്നിരിക്കുന്ന വാപ്പ വിശുദ്ധ വാരി കഴിക്കുന്ന കാണുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് എത്ര സന്തോഷം തോന്നും അതിഷ്ടപലം എന്ന് പറയും കൊടുത്തതിൻ്റെ പുണ്യം അതിഷ്ടപലം എന്ന് പറയും എവിടെയെങ്കിലും പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടാക്കും നമ്മൾ അതിന് അതിന് വേണ്ടി കഷ്ടപ്പെടേണ്ട കാര്യമുണ്ടോ നമുക്കൊന്നും ഇല്ലല്ലോ എന്നിങ്ങനെ പറയുന്നവരുണ്ടാകും അവർ മറ്റുള്ള പ്രശ്നമാണ് നമ്മുടെ പ്രശ്നമായി വരുന്നത് അതാണ് പത്ത് നിലയുള്ളവർ കെട്ടിടത്ത് താഴത്തെ നില തീ പിടിച്ച് നിരിക്കട്ടെ അപ്പം അവിടെ ഉള്ളവർ വിളിച്ച് പറയുകയാണ് മകളിലൊക്കെ താമസിക്കുന്നത് ആരെങ്കിലും ഓടി വരണേ ഓടി വരണേ തീ ഇണയ്ക്കാൻ സഹായിക്കണേ പറയുമ്പോൾ ആ നിലയിലൊക്കെ താമസിക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങളുടെ നില തീ പിടിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾ തന്നെ പരിഹരിക്കൂ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എങ്ങനെ ഇരിക്കും ആ തീ മുകളിലോട്ടാണ് പിടിച്ചു വരുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ അവരുടെ പ്രശ്നമാണ് നമ്മുടെ പ്രശ്നമാകുന്നത് ആ ഒരു ഭാവത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് കണ്ടു തന്നെ ചെയ്യണം അതൊക്കെ നമ്മളിലേക്ക് തന്നെ എത്തുന്നതാണ് നമ്മളെ ദേഷിക്കുമ്പോണ്ടാകുന്ന തരംഗം വേറെ കാമസമയത്തുണ്ട തരംഗം വേറെ സ്നേഹസമയത്തുണ്ടാ തരംഗം വേറെ ഒരമ്മ കുഞ്ഞിനോട് വാരിശല സമയത്തുണ്ടാകുന്നത് നമ്മൾ പ്രവർത്തിപ്പിക്കുന്ന തരംഗം വേറെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എക്സാമ്പിളായ ഒരു പെർഫ്യൂ ഫാക്ടറിയിൽ പോയാൽ പെർഫ്യൂ ഫാക്ടറിയിൽ ഇറങ്ങി വരും പാടം കാണും കർക്കരി ഫാക്ടറി പോയാൽ കർക്കരി വാരിയിൽ ഇറങ്ങി വരും പൊടി കാണും അപ്പോൾ ഏതൊരു ഭാവത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന അതനുസരിച്ച് നമ്മുടെ തരംഗങ്ങൾ കൈമാറുകയും പൊരുപ്പേ ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് നാലാം പറയുന്നത് ഈശ്വര കൃപ എന്ന് പറയും നമ്മൾ പത്ത് ഇപ്പോൾ പന്ത്രണ്ട് മണിക്ക് പ്ലെയിന് വേണമെങ്കിൽ നേരെ ഇറങ്ങി നേരത്തെ ഇറങ്ങും വണ്ടി ഓടിച്ച് ചിലപ്പോൾ വണ്ടി ഓടിച്ച് പോകുമ്പോൾ ആക്സിഡൻ്റ് ആകാം സമയത്തിനവിടെ എത്തിയില്ലെന്ന് വരാം ട്രാഫിക്ക് പെട്ടെന്ന് വരാം അഥവാ വണ്ടി ഓടിച്ച് പ്ലേ സ്റ്റേഷൻ ചെന്നാലോ ചിലപ്പോൾ പ്ലെയിൻ എഞ്ചിൻ കേടാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കാലാവസ്ഥ ശരിയല്ലെന്ന് പറയാം അപ്പോൾ കാലവും പ്രയത്നം ഉണ്ടായിട്ടും ഈശ്വര കൃപയില്ലാത്തതുകൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് പൂർത്തിയാക്കാൻ പറ്റിയില്ല അപ്പോൾ കാലവും പ്രയത്നം ഈശ്വര കൃപ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഏത് കർമ്മവും മധുരമാക്കാൻ സാധിക്കുകയുള്ളൂ ആ
I'm Tanya Mantooth, CEO and Artistic Director of the San Diego International Film Festival. I believe that in our increasingly complex and divisive world, cinematic storytelling gives us the opportunity to find common ground through our shared experiences. Destination Peace has discovered that opportunity to find common ground through the universal language of music. We're partnering with Destination Peace and the Foundation for the Support of the United Nations in their pursuit of rural peace. Genevieve Fiorese is an American soprano, songwriter, and international recording artist. She is known for her sacred and spiritual repertoire. Her voice has thrilled many audiences in theaters and cathedrals throughout Italy and France. Genevieve is making a global impact through music, donating many of her performances to charitable causes, and has a family foundation for the youth in Cape Town, South Africa. She is the founder of Music for Dreamers, a nonprofit musical academy that provides music education for talented, underserved children, giving them education and hope to reach for their dreams. Hearing Genevieve's video presentation, Horizons, touched the recesses of my heart and soul. Set to music by Italian composer Giorgio Susanna, Genevieve began writing the lyrics over the summer while studying at Columbia University. I hope that this specially made video for this hour of peace will take your breath away as well.
It is my great pleasure to introduce Angelique Kidjo, the dynamic global singer and songwriter from West Africa. She is a highly regarded UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, who is a passionate advocate for girls' education and has made that a focus of her advocacy partnership with UNICEF. Time magazine has called her Africa's premier diva. The BBC has included her in its list of the continent's 50 most iconic figures. And The Guardian, the newspaper, listed her as one of their top 100 most inspiring women in the world. I had the pleasure of meeting Ms. Kidjo at a UN gathering with our common friend, dear and respected Secretary General Kofi Annan. Now, here is Angelique Kijo. Malaika! Nakupenda Malaika! Malaika! Malaika Inge kuwa Mariwe Inge kuwa Rara Na shindwe na malisi na we Inge kuwa Malaika Na shindwe na malisi na we Pesa Sasubu waro honyengu Pesa Sasubu waro honyengu Na mirifanyeche Ki Kishana mwesi jawa wawo wawo Nashin when I'm malice in a way. In the cool, my like a Nashin when I'm Who was a kid again? Who was a kid again? Now you know what Destination Peace is about. We use peaceful means. We use music. 
With our World Peace Ambassadors, partners, supporters, and volunteers, and your help, we can foster peace through harmony and conflict resolution. Destination Peace hopes for a world where people sing together, live together, and understand that it shouldn't take a catastrophe to find out that we're not taking care of our neighbors. Can you imagine two people who are diametrically opposed sitting side by side, singing our universal music language? Can you imagine sitting next to your enemy and singing together? Thank you, Nicole. It's so special to be reunited with you. We met 26 years ago and time certainly flies and it's really an honor to have you with us. Here's an example for your consideration. Throughout the millennia, different groups, often violent, ruled over the Irish countryside. Vikings, Roman centurions, and other adversaries appeared over the course of history. The menacing presence of prehistoric creatures was replaced by humans. Wars, famines, and battles may have shaped the physical boundaries of communities. Still, the burning desire for peaceful reconciliation eventually created viable communities. While visiting Ireland recently, I found myself walking along the iconic wall that painfully divided the Belfast Street, separating two embattered communities. As I examined the vivid, striking illustrations, I was struck by the prospect that we could fulfill the biblical Isaiah's immortal words. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Our ultimate destination should be to avoid war and violence at all costs. Destination Peace imagines a universal consciousness that transforms out of our universal musical language. We aim to spark awareness that will ensure us all a universally accepted peace. And so, in the spirit of many of the videos you've seen tonight, we gather together in distant harbors to embark on our journey towards a destination of peace. We call on all of you to enter this great current carrying us all to a tranquil sea of peace and harmony. That is our destination. That is our destiny. We do this because we can. We do this because we choose to. We do this because we must. We invite you to join us to support Destination Peace and learn more about our mission. Visit DestinationPeace.org and catch up with the latest updates on the 24 hours of World Peace Livestream. Thank you to everyone connected to Destination Peace and the Foundation for the support of the United Nations. And to everyone, everywhere on this planet, who is working tirelessly for the essential sustainable development goals of peace, justice, and strong institutions. May your life's destination be peace.